Good afternoon, everybody. It's John from Veganism Kills. It's 9.36 p.m., October 21st. Uh, today, I got 100 subscribers. Thank you, everybody, for subscribing. Keep giving those likes. Um, but right now, that matters very little to me. Um, again, Lee Vegan, this man you see on the screen, he had the misfortune five years ago of having a terrible uh, stroke, which has left him, uh, I would say, not 100%. Uh, I do think his perception is a school, because again, if you lose half of your brain to a stroke, it might cloud your judgment. A lot of people get annoyed at him because he keeps using a lot of emojis and stuff. But you have to understand, this guy isn't a lunatic. He's basically a disabled person. And what I find in his comments fields on his videos, I'm trying to talk to him that if you had a stroke, and he follows nutritionfacts.org, Dr. Greger. Again, we all know he's a fake doctor. And I was trying to tell this guy, you need to stop listening to Dr. Greger and go to a real doctor and a real nutritionist. Some of that are openly will help you on YouTube, like Bob K. If you ask him, he'll set something up and he'll help you out. And you might either, you, you could possibly live a more comfortable life. And, and you might gain back a little bit more of your function. Uh, it looks like, I, I look at this guy, he doesn't do too many videos. I don't even see a pet in his house, okay? Um, this must be his only outlet to human communication. And it looks like these sick bastard vegoons have taken advantage of him. And they're egging him on. And him being in the state that he's in, some of the stuff he says is unreasonable. Uh, he's, he's quoting uh, studies from nutritionsfacts.org. And we all know their studies are bullshit. Uh, he's running around saying uh, just a lot of stupid stuff. And he's the one that actually needs more help than any meat eater. I can tell you that because if you have a stroke, you're going to need to heal. And to heal, you need those building blocks to help you heal. And you're not going to get them from being on a vegan diet. But these vegans on there, they're on his channel. They're egging him on. They're telling him he's doing a good job. Uh, don't listen to anybody else. You see, you take a good look at this guy's face. Don't be surprised that he might be gone in the year. So I'm sending the alert that people don't yell at this guy or call him a lunatic. Tell him, look, what they're telling you is bullshit. And a lot of people get annoyed by him because you could see in his videos he gets like 51 likes from the vegans. And he gets 100 down from the rest of the normal people that watch his videos. They don't like what he's doing to himself. But the vegans, they don't seem to actually care about him. They care about pushing the agenda of veganism on everybody. Which is really stupid because you're going to go, you're going to tell everybody they have to become vegan and you don't even have enough cropland to grow all that food for everybody who went vegan. That's first of all, okay? And if you're going to suddenly turn around and say, well, if you don't feed the animals the grain that we grow, first of all, Vegans, you got your, your numbers screwed up. The FAO says 40% of the grain that we grow goes to animals. And 80%, 86% of that grain is inedible for humans to consume. So stop the law. You take 80% out of 86% out of 40%. What do you got left? Less than 10% of grain, actual grain that humans can eat goes to animals. The rest is corn stalks, shoots, and stuff that we can't digest. And talking to these vegans, they just ignore science, they ignore facts, and they're going to end up killing this guy. Now, uh, I'm, all my subscribers, try to talk some sense in this guy. Be nice. Tell him, look, we don't want to read about you. 
like the lady that had breast cancer, she got it when she was vegan, and she decided, well, I'm not going to go to a doctor and get treated for it. Veganism will cure me. Well, now she's dead, and the child has no mother. No mother. Okay? So, to me, this is tantamount to negligent homicide. You're telling these people that they're going to get better if they follow the vegan diet, and the diet obviously doesn't have enough nutrition in it to support somebody from sickness to get well. Why are they doing this? These people are truly sick individuals. There's some when they that study came out where over thirty percent of vegetarians were mentally ill, and the vegans had a higher rate of mental illness than the vegetarians. They were like 35, 40 percent. And then somebody made a comment, well, that's because they didn't test the other 70 percent. I have to agree with them. I think anybody follows veganism, they should be looked at first of all to see if they're mentally stable because a lot of them don't seem to be mentally stable. And they're telling these people who follow them that they, they can convince or cajole to try in veganism. 84 percent of them get sick and leave in the first year, and then the later three years, they have nobody left. Vegan, to me, veganism is evil because it's they're taking advantage of people, that they're, they're falsifying information, making up information, and people are dying, and they don't tell people about this. They're screwed up. I'm out of here. If you see this guy, his name is Lee Vegan, go say hello to him. Tell them, you know, these people aren't being 100% with you. Do you know Dr. Gregor doesn't even have a license to practice medicine or nutrition? The studies that he gets are one-off studies that are posted to Semantic Scholar. They haven't been paired, reviewed. You try to explain it to him and help him. Or the next person that's going to be leaving veganism is probably going to be him. Face up, if you understand what I'm saying. This is why I don't like vegans. Alright, I'm out. Good luck to you all. We're going to need it with all these people running around like nuts trying to kill other people.